last week on The Chris Gethard Show. <laughs> last week, I asked the six friends from the TV show Friends to be my vice presidential running mate. The first one to respond would get the job. I thought they'd be perfect for it. After all, the main job of the vice president is to be there for you, just like they sing in the Friends song. Friend Ross, friend Rachel, friend Phoebe, friend Chandler, friend Monica, or friend Joey. I contacted four of them on Twitter. A lot. But I haven't heard back from any of them. Which made me sad. And I started to worry. What if none of them wanted to be my vice president? And that made me think about the question Shannon O'Neill asked on last week's show. What if, um, what if Gunther wants to be your vice president? <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, the offer is out there to any of the six friends. Four of them are on Twitter. Shannon was right. What if Gunther did want to be my vice president? After all, he was sort of like one of the friends, because he was friendly with the friends. Maybe I was going about this all wrong. And so, effective immediately, I am broadening the scope of my vice presidential selection process. Not only am I inviting friend Gunther, but also friend Tom Selleck, who dated friend Monica, and friend Janice, who dated Chandler, oh my god! Friend Paul Rudd from seasons 9 and 10, and friend Elliot Gould, Ross and Monica's dad, friend Giovanni Rabisi, Phoebe's brother, hey, they're all friends! No one's gonna vote against one of the friends, they're the friends! Everyone loves the friends! Sure, I still want one of the big six friends to be my VP, but if I can't have them, I'm willing to settle for one of the second tier friends. Hey, I'll even settle for something less. If you can prove you were ever on an episode of Friends, contact my campaign on Twitter. Maybe you'll get a chance to be my vice president. I'll be there for you, because you're there for me too. Paid for by citizens for a present movement like 30s.